Okay, so I'm going to try this uh, penny experiment, and we're going to make these pennies brass pennies, gold and brass. I think it's better not to confound the issue with alchemy by pretending that they're turning into actual silver or gold. Just talk about what we're doing to them in actual chemical terms. And the difference is that rather than the experiment that I saw done, I'm going to be using zinc sulfate instead of zinc chloride because I had some available. And I'm going to be using some zinc metal to coat these with. So first I'm going to clean them. And this is the cleaning solution, acetic and salt. It's going to clean them off. So I'm going to drop them in there. So here we go. Drop them on in. Interesting. Interesting. Weird, right? Oh, I see. That's not a real penny. <laughs> no wonder it must be made of steel, right? Look. Okay. Well, that wasn't a real penny. What country is this from? Um, British? No. Elizabeth? But it doesn't look British. Okay, so now while the pennies are cleaning, I'm mixing up the zinc sulfate heptahydrate, and I'm going to base it on molarity. So I'm going to add enough water to get it to the 300 mark. Not actually 300 of water, but I don't have to be super exact. And, oh, that's pretty close to the 300. So that up. So I'm using, again, zinc sulfate rather than zinc chloride that was recommended. But it should do the trick, I'm hoping. Okay, now I have prepared the zinc sulfate. I put half of it in here. I'm going to start heating up Put the ventilation on. And I'm going to add some zinc powder, which is flammable, so I don't want to get it near the fire. It's actually not powder, it's granular. I'm supposed to get this to boiling. Put about five grams in. seems to be happening faster where it's hottest, which would make a lot of sense. Not as much in the middle. That penny is very remarkably changed. The one up there. I'm moving them out to where the heat is seems to be happening faster.
scared. Wow. It's very silver too on both sides. Yep. I'll take that one out. Looks good. That's all of them. So now my idea was that to, the pad underneath this is very hot, and then maybe if I move this, I could heat the coins on that pad. Let's see. Let's try a couple. Let's heat them on this very hot. Oh wow, it just went back to being copper, just, oh, way too hot. Okay, so that's not going to work. Oh, they're kind of golden, a little bit golden. Maybe that's what we're supposed to get. Interesting, oh, you know what? Oh yeah, that side is extremely golden. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put them on for a very short period of time. Let's try... Right, this is changing. Look, it is just changing, and oh, you know what? It's working. It's working. Actually, changing color on this hot center plate. This one should change right about now. Now, notice that it doesn't appear golden until I cool it in water. This one. Oh, I'm gonna let it go a little too long. No, maybe not. And I don't expect this to happen with the dime, because it is there although there is copper under the dime, interesting. Don't expect it to happen with that, but just try it. I think I'll keep one, two, three of these, and I'll make the rest golden. And you know what? I got all those. So maybe I'll just, um, yeah, I'll just keep three. So right when they're starting to look like this, grabbing them, and then lots of golden coins. This will be the last one keeping a few silver so you can see the flame off. 
that one. I'm not sure how this one's going to turn out. This one looked a little weird. So some of them have different various um, shoots. This was the silver color. This is the golden brass. Very golden. Nice. So it really worked well. Pennies that started out looking like this with the copper coating became very silvery with the zinc coating. And then with the golden brassy coating, the beautiful golden, some of them didn't come out quite as good a color. And the ones that really didn't work so well, I thought they'd both be old pennies. This one's a 1969, but then this one's a 1989. So I think it might just be that they have some oil on the surface that did not um, come off. And this is a little piece of brass-coated copper from an old nitric acid. Pretty good.